Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Friday, February the 3rd, and here are today's top headlines. A teenager is dead after a shooting outside of the Montclair Mall. We're live with the latest. Also, a massive water main break sends thousands of gallons of water shooting into the air, flooding streets, even creating a sinkhole. And heightened tensions between the U.S. and China as the Pentagon spots a Chinese spy balloon over the continental U.S. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Well, good morning to you and happy Friday. You made it. I'm Chris Schauble. I'm Megan Henderson. We appreciate you being with us. We're checking your roads. Oh, yeah. are coming up. First, let's talk a little weather. Nice weather. Yeah. Yeah, we want some nice weather right through the weekend. That would be nice. A little chance of some rain in the forecast. So we'll talk about that. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. It's 4 o'clock. Thanks for making us a part of the morning as we uh, head outside. Why not? Do we ever get a bad shot from Long Beach? We don't get a bad shot from any of our live shots. They're strategically placed. Beautiful, beautiful view there. Nice to see that water there. Uh, looks like glass. So very quiet, very still, and a very nice day on tap for us. We will see a few clouds. That will be one feature about today. A little bit more cloud coverage, but still getting enough sunshine to push us into the 70s today. This will be some of the warmest weather that we've had in a while. And the wind's picking up just a little bit this evening. Those winds could bring us a slight risk of some rain or at least tell us there is a little system headed our way. So we'll check in on that for the weekend as well. We'll do that in a few minutes. Ginger, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you as well, Henry. And we are off to kind of a busy start. And then remember, there is a lot going on in terms of construction. But on that 60 free, when we're talking about the position of the <laughs> in the Riverside area, excuse me, I was just thinking the Inland Empire because obviously we know it meets in different spots, right? But anyway, the 60 freeway, if your plans take you here, that west spend side of the 60. So put it at about Valley Way where about 1.30 this morning we had a pretty serious crash. And it looks to us like they are calling this one for a fatality. In fact, the lanes are stopped here. So they're going to take everybody off right at about Riverdale Boulevard. And then we'll see what develops if your plans take you here. Uh, just waiting to see how much longer and the on-ramp, of course, is going to be shut down as well. We'll move you over to look at your drive and the conditions for the 10 freeway. If your plans take you onto this stretch, this with the Santa Monica portion eastbound side. So right at about the same spot as the last couple of days. So if your plans take you like, say, La Brea over to about Vermont, those lanes are closed, but the detours are pretty good. You do see it, too. You got Jefferson. I like Washington, Pico, Olympic, a lot of different ways to get yourself around what's forming into a kind of a slow ride on this stretch of the 10. I'll send it back to you guys. Ginger, thank you. We begin with breaking news. A shooting at a local mall leaves a teenager dead and another wounded. Police say the gunman still on the run this morning. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera live near the scene in Montclair with the latest details. Carlos, good morning. And good morning, Chris and Megan. Law enforcement here this morning still at the scene of the shooting. Take a look right behind me. Detectives still coming in and out of the mall uh, in the area where the shooting happened, trying to find and review surveillance video to help them determine what exactly happened here last night. As you mentioned, Chris and Megan, a 15-year-old boy shot and killed another unidentified victim, shot and hospitalized. Authorities saying this all unfolded or happened in the parking lot of the Montclair Place shopping mall around 8 p.m. yesterday. They say two groups were gathered in the parking lot. Two people in that group got into some sort of altercation. They were initially separated, but gunfire erupted just a few moments later. When officers arrived at the scene, they found the injured teen. He was taken to the hospital where he died. The second victim showed up at the hospital.